In last week's episode, the hunt for Captain John Haynes began when the body of a woman was found in his hotel room. Unable to make Captain Haynes reveal the whereabouts of the remaining piece of his spaceship's astrolabe, the Asgard had him thrown into a dark chamber. Let me out! Please, let me out! Sir, sir! Please, let me out! Sir, Captain Haynes, is everything all right? Oh, uh, what, sir? Who? Captain Haynes, are you all right? One moment. Are you all right, sir? Yes, yes, I'm sorry. I was dreaming. You gave me quite a turn, sir. I did knock earlier to see if you wanted any breakfast, but you said that you would uh, decline the invitation, I think it was. I'm sorry. How long before we get to Houston? About half an hour. Would you like anything to eat or drink, sir? I'm afraid we've finished serving breakfast in the dining car. Oh, I don't want to put you to any trouble. But I would quite like some tea and toast, if that's all right, please. That would be fine, sir. I'll bring it along in about five minutes. Just glad there is nothing wrong. Thank you. Can you see him, Preston? John, darling! Hello, darling. Hello, boy. Hope you've been looking after your mistress. What a wonderful collar. Stand still, Preston. Let me have a look at that. Why... It is even more splendid than I imagined it to be. When you said it had 12 gems that looked like stars. <laughs> 12 hours. Chapter ring. What are you talking about, John? I think I was trying to imagine what the collar looked like as I fell asleep on the train last night. And I was thinking about all the adventures you've had recently. And <laughs> don't laugh. I dreamt that an MI5 agent called Scudder came to ask me to take a bit of crashed spacecraft to London. Then I was kidnapped and interrogated by an alien. <laughs> oh, John, how exciting. I'm, I'm sorry, dear. I'm afraid I gave the conductor quite a turn. Apparently, I was shouting to be let out. I felt quite a fool. See? Preston doesn't think you're a fool, and I certainly don't. Oh, come here. You said you had some papers to take to the Admiralty? Yes. Well, how about we go and drop the papers off? Then we'll all go home, and you can tell me about all your splendid adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been listening to Mud Love's Drama Group, presenting a Preston mystery, starring... Captain John Haynes, played by Richard. Hotel receptionist. <laughs> Inspector Lestrange, played by Steve. Lifeguard, played by Kit. The procurator, discovery. Mrs. Shirley Haynes, by Stephanie. And the train conductor, played by Pat. With appearances by Zoe as Francis Scudder, John as Hurley, Sam, played Gloria, and music composed and performed by Callie. We will be back in our new adventure, A Tangled Web, coming in 2012. <laughs>